Dre all day. Dre all day. Dre all day. Hope y'all can see me all right. The world doesn't owe you shit. That's the topic of this video, but I want to explain it. I want to go a level deeper than just saying the world doesn't owe you anything. Because I'm sure you've heard some, you know, motivational speaker, some bro, tell you that before already. But coming into this world or into your industry or into your your sport or your career or whatever you do thinking that you deserve to get some some type of opportunity or you deserve a chance or you deserve somebody to give you a look or whatever just because you showed up or just because of even what you did in the past or just because of who you know or whatever you're not entitled to that and i think uh, these days more and more it seems people are becoming more entitled as in thinking that they deserve something just because of filling the blank whatever you want to fill in that blank with i remember when carmelo anthony you know he signed now at least as of this recording with the portland trailblazers and that whole year plus or whatever when he wasn't in the nba a lot of nba fans were saying well carmelo he's done this this and this they start pointing out all his achievements in his career and they were saying well because of these achievements he deserves to be in the league or he has more skills than this guy or that guy and he could at least score some points he deserves an opportunity he deserves to be signed and i do believe that he was better than some people in the league i do believe he could score points now we see that he can score points in the league but i knew that before he got signed that he could do that but i didn't at the same time i didn't believe he deserved it i mean because deserving is like you just saying somebody should just hand you something just because and the way it works in life is even when you're good even when you're really good at something, it doesn't mean you deserve the money or the opportunity or the fame or the, the recognition or whatever you think comes with it once you get good at something. Because there, there are mechanisms in place. You got to work the whole system. It's not just one part of the system. Being good at something does not entitle you to an opportunity. You got to be able to create the opportunity. That's the next step that goes with it. But here's the thing that I want you to get. With the world not owing you anything, is that a lot of people, because they inherently unconsciously understand what i just said that just because you're good doesn't mean that opportunities are going to fall in your lap a lot of people just accept whatever life gives them they know that the world doesn't owe them anything so whatever the world does hand to you or whatever you do get from the world most people are just all right with it they're like you know what i'm cool with this i'll just accept this i'm good i'm not gonna they don't try to go any further they don't have the ambition to push themselves harder and they don't go seeking the information and the knowledge for what they would have to do to get more than what they already have. That's the challenge. That's the problem that most people have is that they don't even try to figure out how can I get more out of what I out of my material than what I've already got. So because of this, the universe has a whole lot of extra ready to give out to whomever is willing able and then they take the action they have the courage and the confidence to go out there and demand more from life anybody who demands more from life the world the universe is waiting to give it to you but you got to go out and demand it and understand what it means to demand something from life is not just saying that you're going to do it or making a video about it or posting it as a, a status update that you're going to do this and that or making a vision board or setting goals all of those things are good to do I'm not saying don't do them. All of them are good to do. But the most important way that you demand something from life, from the world, from the universe is through your actions. Your actions are a request to the universe for what you want. You know how the saying goes, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Understand that asking for something is not just what you talk about and what you think about. Asking for something is the actions that you take. For example, right now, when I get done this video, I'm about to go in the gym and work out. When you go to the gym and work out, what are you asking for? I mean, if you have some kind of plan, what you're doing, you're asking for health. You're asking for good fitness. You're asking for big muscles. You're asking to get stronger. You're asking to lose weight. You're asking for whatever you plan to get out of the gym. Whenever you spend time doing that thing, you're asking for the results of doing that thing. If you hang out with people who are doing the wrong thing, what are you asking for? You're asking for yourself to at some point be in the wrong place at the wrong time and get yourself in trouble, even if you weren't doing the thing that they're doing because you're standing next to them. So whenever you take an action, understand that that is a demand. That's a request of the universe, a demand or request of the universe for you to get the results of that thing, whatever it is you happen to be doing. So since you know the world doesn't owe you anything, all you need to do is tell the world what you want. Tell the universe what you want, not just through words, because listen, anybody can talk. 
I mean, this is, if you're watching this on YouTube, how many comments are there on videos? If a video comes out, then a bunch of people leave a comment, but there's only one video for, you know, it could be a thousand comments. So a lot of people like to talk, but very few people like to do. So don't be a person who's just talking about what you're going to do, thinking about what you're going to do, Instagramming it, YouTubing it, fill in the blank, all the social media platforms. It's easy to talk on those, right? It's easy to show off on those. It's easy to be, be somebody on one of those. But are you somebody when you put the phone down? Are you somebody when nobody's watching? Are you somebody when there's no cameras around? Because that's the real demand that you're making of the universe. And that's the one that's going to separate you from everybody else. Because if everybody's talking online, what makes you any different from them? How are you going to get any, how are you going to get the universe's attention if you're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing? You can do it. Listen, I'm, I use these platforms as well. But at, at the same time, I got to log off the platform so I can do the real work that matters. The real work that matters to me getting what I want to get from the universe. It ain't just about talking. It ain't just about posting. It ain't just about captions. It's about actually going out there and doing the thing, whatever that thing happens to be for you. So you need to think about what that is for you and ask yourself, what demand you're going to make of the universe to get what you want? Because I guarantee you there's plenty of it out there available. And the people who never make that demand, what would have been theirs, it was set aside for them. But since they never asked for it, the universe has extra. And all that extra goes to the people who are willing to go take it. Work on your game.